Howdy! I'm Rombo. Welcome to Area 51. Those aliens have gone back to Jupiter, but I'm still here. And look what I've got for you today. The Tokrev 12-gauge TBB. Their 12-gauge bullpup powerhouse. Let's see how it shoots, folks. Yeah! 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 Oh! Woo! Hoorah! That's power, folks. Also, holds open after the last shot. Showing clear, empty, no magazine. What a piece of work. I fired a few bull puffs before, but this is the first 12 gauge uh, semi auto that I've tried, and it is cool. Good price point. Check out guns.com where good deals like this are available. Let's take a closer look at the Toke Rev. It is made of polymer for the most part, except for key parts. The internals are steel, of course. Look at the steel exterior. That's nickel uh, marine, marine nickel. So you can put this on your sailboat and take it into the Florida Keys and hunt for pirates, I guess. Neat gun. Uh, Semi-auto, all you have to do is pull the trigger. Gun weighs seven pounds. It's 28 inches across, 15 inch length of pull. That trigger that I was jerking on was uh, 11 pounds, a heavier trigger than the gun, but that's good for safety. The magazine is uh, stainless and holds five rounds. Comes with one of these uh, in the box. However, you can get a 10 round magazine and a 20 round magazine later, if your state allows that. Have lots of fun with it. Operating handle is here. Uh, bolt release, or excuse me, magazine release is here. I'm gonna flip it over. Bolt release is here. Does that look like an AR bolt release? Well, oh, I think it is. How about the safety? Does that look like an AR safety? Sure does. The grip is very much uh, AR. Nice texture though, it's not as straight. I like the little finger grooves there, kind of cool. This is a tough little shotgun to shoot in some ways because it kicks. However, they give you a good butt plate to fit in your shoulder. I like it. It's nice and soft and cushiony. So not too bad as long as you choke it up and you know how to shoot a shotgun. The uh, barrel, believe it or not, is 18 and a half inches long and it comes with three choke tubes. I'll give you a little bit of an angle there. You might see the choke tube installed. That's uh, improved cylinder, but it comes with modified and full. So if you want to take this out to the skeet range and impress everybody, go for it. Maybe even hunt quail here in Arizona. If I have this uh, in October, November, I just might take it out and shoot at a few quail and dove. Why not? Now, sights. This is a highly customizable gun. Take a look at that Picatinny rail. It is 12 inches long. It comes with polymer flip-up sights. I think that's cool. A lot of guns today aren't coming with any sights because they want you to customize it. Well, sure, you can do that. You can put an aim point on this, a red dot, uh, even a scope, I suppose, and another six inch pick rail on the bottom. So again, lasers, flashlights can go here, a bipod, why not? This is not the, exactly a high price gun, but for what you pay and what you get, I'm very impressed so far. And I was expecting jams. Thought we'd name this peanut butter because it goes with jam. But no, so far it's shooting quite well. And I haven't shot it much before today. So we're going to put it through its paces here in a minute. Uh, let's uh, tell you what, let's load a magazine. And when Rombo shoots, Rombo doesn't take any chances. 12 gauge, two and three quarter, double out buck, nine pellets by Winchester. Uh, it's important to have good quality ammunition and the crimps should be nice and round. If you reload, pay attention. That's a good proprietary 12 gauge round. Let's show you how to load the magazine. Of course, you can buy as many magazines as you want. High brass shells, they will catch right here. So it's important that you push down with your index finger to clear the brass. Like so, there we go. The spring is not too bad, but the brass does catch one on the other. Discovered that loading earlier. 
So if you are smart enough to pick up one of these guns, that's the way to load it. Push down and push in. Five rounds loaded. Does that look like an AR magazine? It sure does, just a little bigger. Now imagine a 10 rounder or a 20 rounder. It would be a big banana. Now, bullpup. Have you ever shot a bullpup before? I love bullpups. Here's why. The magazine is behind. It's not out front. The gun balances very well. Center of gravity is right on your grip. Empties are ejected out the uh, right side. Uh, if you're a lefty, that could be a bit of a problem. Also, we've shown you the safety is uh, designed for right handed writers, right people. <laughs> so, uh, lefties, you may have to compromise a bit. I'm not going to shoot this left handed, uh, but we'll just to give you an idea. So, let's, uh, let's do a little pattern testing here today. To load, magazine's loaded, insert, pull the bolt back, and release. The uh, sights are up, ready to go. It's a bullpup. Make sure your offhand, left hand, is here. It's not unlike a pistol. You don't want to cross that muzzle with your left hand. Safety comes off, and we'll put one on that steel target. Let's see what the pattern looks like. Nine pellets of uh, double lot. Whoa, we got a spurter. I knew it. I was aiming for that. Well, it shoots a little low. You see that pattern's low? I'm going to aim a little higher this time. Yeah, there you go. You can see the pellet marks on that. Now, let's get a real good look on that uh, paper target for pattern. I'm going to aim up above the red dot. I haven't had time to adjust the sight, so we're just shooting a little low today. There you go, dead center. I aimed up at the top uh, old middle ring there. What a group, huh? Nine grains of uh, whatever double that buck is in caliber, 36 caliber, I think. Just nailed it. Uh, let's see, we've got, a, we've got that steel jug. Oh, I can't quite knock it over. That's a tough steel jug. And there's a, there's a jug out there full of root beer just a little farther. Oh, yeah, blew it the smithereenies. Notice the bolt locks open on the last shot. And that was five shots, so now 10 shots for my demonstration where the gun has not jammed. So anybody tells you these guns jams and they're junk, Tell them Rombo said they're full of it. Yeah! 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 Take that, root beer jugs. Yeah! Oh, yes! Five more shots, just that fast. If you have enough magazines on you, you can shoot all day. I like it. I can't help it. It's just great shooting gun, uh, highly customizable. A good price point, check out guns.com where guns like this are available, new and used. Thanks for watching today. Enjoy showing you the Tokarev. I'm gonna keep shooting this later, folks. This was a blast. Be safe out there, go shooting. Shoot pop cans, shoot alien jugs, have a blast. Thanks for coming to Area 51 in Arizona. I'm Ron Bow. Have a good one. <laughs>